YouTubers. Uh, so what you see before you is a deconstructed um, original Atari joystick, although the one with the um, sort of like you know joist, more contoured joystick handle, which means it's thicker and larger. And I've put a um, button in here. Now this is something I did years ago. Tried to make an MSX joystick. Um, but when I opened this up, and I'm sure I did have this work in the past, there was no lead going to the ground. So I've put in a new cable. You can see the newer cables, uh, the red one there. Um, and then fed it through the center of this and made a little hole uh, where they come out there. Now it was originally a hole, just made it a little bigger for this larger wire. So the <clears throat> So this wire goes directly to this cable. Now where I got this cable from, it was originally an extension lead. So that the extension leads have all nine pins wired. Um, uh, I'm going to do this to uh, one of my spare Wycos as well, because it's got two buttons, and see if I can wire that up to be an MSX joystick as well. But this is just like my first experiment, because uh, I really want to play the um, Vampire Killer Castle in that game, and it requires two, uh, two button MSX joystick. Um, so it was really that simple, so I just had to connect that to the earth, that's already wired up to the, um, the right wire. Um, we'll put it all back together and um, see if it works. Right, so um, have the joystick all back together. So I mean, it's not going to be the best joystick in the world, but this is what I was able to cobble together back in the day. I really don't know where that wire has gone inside. Now I've written a short little program here and I thought this would be a good exercise, so um, it's only eight lines long, um, set screen 0, 0, um, clears the screen, CLS, uh, and then it grabs the uh, both the joystick 0 and joystick 1, now joystick 0 is actually the keyboard, and then in B it grabs uh, trigger 0 from the keyboard, which would be the space bar, and trigger 1, which is trigger the first trigger from the first joystick. Then in C, it gets trig 3, which is the second button from the first joystick. <clears throat> Pardon me, so strig strig 2 would be the first button from the second joystick, and strig 4 would be the um, second button from the second joystick. So it's all very easy. Then we do a locate 0, 0, um, which um, just puts the cursor up on the top left-hand corner. And we print our three values, and we go back to 930. So it's going to go around a loop. So we run that normally and you get three zeros on there. Now if I press the button on the joystick you get a minus one. Now let's press the top button and we get a minus one. So we get two independent button presses. Uh, now for joystick directions, up, down, left and right. Now this is where the joystick's number three there. So it's a little old so this is my it'll do joystick <laughs> and we'll, we'll um, give Castlevania a try and see how we go with it but um, successful uh, modification and repair um, and what I'm going to do I have this obviously much better condition Wyco joystick now it's all nice and solid in there and it actually has two buttons uh, and it has a switch between A and B um, but the cable is pretty buggered so what I'm going to do is depending on how many wires are in this one because it was made for the Atari um, 2600 it might not have enough wires I have a couple of spare extension leads so what I'll do is I'll um, grab an extension lead uh, chop off the end and wire it into this but wire it so that the buttons are independent um, and um, I'm not sure what to do with the switch, the switch um, maybe I could work out how to do some sort of constant firing thing, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do that without some sort of timing chip. So I can always do that later, but that'll make a nice, robust MSX joystick. But that's for another video. Alright, let's go and give um, a Vampire Cure or Castlevania a try. Right, here we go with <coughs> Vampire Killer on the MSX2. Um, also known as Castlevania, is demo mode. So I'm using the joystick that I repaired. Pretty 
Nitro. So MSX2 has more colours available than MSX standard. So our button one is our whip, and now we can jump because I can press the top button. So in um, <coughs> Vampire Killer or Castlevania, we go around collecting various things. When you kill them, you get a heart. And you can get the lights. And get various objects. So that's giving me invincibility? Yeah, I thought so. So let's go on here first. Oops. Ah. And those things, if you miss them, knock you down. There we go, so we've got wings. I'm not sure whether you do something to select some of the special skills or anything. There's another key up there. And it looks like the door out too. So you don't get much back for the hearts. Oh! And now I missed out on the item. The bats are a very big pain. So the music's not too bad. Okay. Now I'm not sure if you need a key to go out the exit. get health backs for the hearts, I was thinking you were getting health. Okay, another section of the castle here. Oops. 
Where do we get pushed back to? So we lose a whole lot of hearts. Oh, and you've got to do the whole level again. Well, just to test out the theory about <clears throat> whether a normal key will open a door, let's um, try that out. Be actually be able to play this game. The one in six go sent me quite a while ago. No, you have to complete all the tasks, okay? I did not know that. Go. And I'm not gonna do that if I continually make errors like that. Shield stays for a little while. there with the gameplay will get too long. Um, quite a compelling game once you make you keep on playing and playing so and um, yeah most excellent so great to be able to play it finally with the two buttons so thank you 1msx to go to for sending me that and um, I'll be playing that some more.